Alright guys, my name is Metagoblin and today I'm going to be talking about how I got my mount at level 40. So there's two main things I'm going to be talking about in this video. The first thing is I'm going to recommend what zones that you should prioritise when it comes to maximising the amount of money you earn per, per hour while obviously still maintaining a good levelling speed and a good levelling pace. And then I'm going to recommend some really good grinding spots that you can do if you basically are running behind on money, you simply don't have enough money, you can grind these spots for a few hours to accumulate quite a significant amount of gold per hour to, you know, save up for your mount. Just as a little bonus tip guys, while I was recording this video I discovered that, well there's a stable here, and there is actually a horse breeder here, here in Menifor Harbour, right here on the map, and if you look at the vendor, he actually sells a black stallion. I didn't know about this, I didn't know you can get a black horse. And I probably would have if I'd known about it, so that's why I just wanted to share that quickly. And obviously just before we jump, jump in guys, as always, please take me a quick follow on Twitch as I'm streaming over there as much as I can. So in the early 30 range, at about level 33, that's when you need to start thinking about saving up for your mount. You need to look at, but look at how much money you have and evaluate how much grinding that you're actually going to have to do. So the first zone that I'd recommend going to is Desolus. Basically, do the quests in Desolus, there's a few of them which basically require you to kill beasts. What you want to do is you want to prioritise quests that require you to kill beasts. So, you've got Desolus, obviously, Stranglethorn Vale, another really good one, because you're going to be killing loads of beasts in Stranglethorn Vale, and there's a lot of grinding to do in Stranglethorn Vale. And the last one is Badlands as well. So, Desolus, Stranglethorn Vale, and Badlands, I'd recommend prioritising those three zones and questing in those zones, so you can start to accumulate enough money for your mount. But obviously, in my situation, I, that simply just wasn't good enough for me. I got to about level, you know, 30, late in the late 30s, and I just simply didn't have enough money. And I started experimenting with a number of grinding spots, grinding on certain different beasts, and I've basically come up with um, the beast that I'd recommend grinding on. Because um, a lot of locations in the game, or a lot of... Um, Previous guides that I've looked up on, you know, on YouTube and stuff, they recommend locations, which, for some reason, just aren't working on Classic WoW. For instance, you know, Swamp Jaguars in a uh, Swamp of Sorrows, um, which is like here. No, it's like here. The, the Swamp Jaguars around here, they they just don't yield any loot. You, you kill them and they no no loot drops. So. That is a real, real pain in the backside. So I experimented with a few grinding locations. A lot of people recommend Stranglethorn Vale because there's gorillas, which yield quite a bit of loot. Okay, and I tried that for you know a few hours, and the issue I found is I was getting ganked a lot. My server is it, there's, well, there's a lot of horde in this in this area around here. Um, as you can see, I've got a quest here, and a lot of horde are doing this quest around here, and this is where the gorillas are. So I was just getting ganked a lot. And then obviously the corpse res is from all the way up here, from Rebel Camp all the way down. So obviously that was becoming a bit of an issue. So I just wouldn't recommend doing hardcore grinding in Stranglethorn Vale. However, it is one location I'd recommend when you're later level. Um, so we'll come back to Stranglethorn Vale. The location I would recommend is Badlands. The reason for this is because the spirit res res the spirit healer is somewhere in the middle. And you're going to be grinding fairly close to where the spirit healer is, so when you get ganked it isn't so much of an issue, and it's also a big open area, and you can, you know, see people coming at you from a distance. So, when you're about, you know, level 35, 36, kill the low level wolves, the crag coyotes, and the ridge stalkers, the stealthed uh, tigers, and then in between that, kill buzzards as well, because you can have a quest to kill the buzzards for the buzzard wing quest, and the buzzards do seem to yield quite a, bo uh, quite a bit of loot as well, so bear that in mind. And then, when you get a little bit higher level, 37, 38, you can start moving on to the Ridge Huntresses, which again, they're very abundant in the zone, and you can grind them very easily, and they yield probably even more gold per hour than the previous option. When you get to about level 38, this is when I'd recommend coming to, go, well, Stranglethorn Vale, and what I'd recommend grinding on is the Cordai Basilisk, I'll show you the spawn locations right now, but the area that I would recommend focusing on is the beach. Okay, so this area is basically the, probably one of the quietest areas in Stranglethorn Vale. Literally barely anyone goes here. I grinded this for hours, probably like a good eight hours, and I barely saw anyone. I think I saw someone once, and that was it. So, and you know, I'm on a really high populated server. What you want to do is just keep running up and down the beach, and by the time you've ran, once you've cleared the entire beach and you ran back through the beach, you know, there should be respawned somewhere. 
and even if you're waiting for respawns you can kill jungle stalkers on either end of the beach but normally they're being killed by other players and that's why I don't grind on locations like that because I probably would get ganked but in this location there's a very low chance of you getting ganked I never got ganked so it's happy days Bob's your uncle obviously if you have skinning then this method will yield even more loot because you can just vend other leather which will massively increase the amount of gold that you generate per hour what I did because um, this is just a little tip for anyone who's leveling their level working I basically crafted dusky leather leggings and I calculated how much um, it would actually cost me to make each individual piece and how much heavy le the cost of the heavy le leather used in making the recipes just so I know that would know that whether I was losing money by making you know the recipe and it, I calculated it at about actually I'd actually be making an extra free silver per stack of heavy leather, per 10 heavy leather. So what I did is I just made loads of dusky leather leggings and I vended them and ended up m making like even more money. That would, that would add my gold per hour to about by an extra one, one gold 50 silver per hour. But these methods for me personally they generated about four gold per hour. But I'm actually playing a rogue so obviously it's not the best class for chain pulling and farming mobs. If you're playing like a hunter or warlock for instance you might, might even be able to double the amount of gold that you can make per hour. So the last tip that I can round the video off with is just be smart about prioritizing certain quests and your quest choice. Look at the actual rewards. You can get an add-on, I'll link it in the description of the video. I think it's just called sell value and it will show you the sell value of like certain items. So if we look at this quest here, it's going to give me one gold and also 81 silver. So that's obviously massively worth doing. Um, but obviously that's, in a, that's a dungeon quest. So it might actually be worth doing some dungeon quests because they do yield quite a lot of money. Um, let's look at this quest here, Troll Witchery. It doesn't award, award me any money or any reward, so I wouldn't prioritize that quest if I was trying to save up money. This one gives me 55 silver, this one an item for 54 silver, I think this one gives a gun for 80 silver, so I prioritize quests where you get rewards which you can actually turn into money over ones that just give you XP. Anyway guys, that's where I'm going to interview there. My name is Metagoblin, until my next video, ciao.